Hello YouTubers and fellow Whovians and once again welcome to another Doctor Who DVD review. This time I shall be taking a look at Doctor Who The Time Meddler starring William Hartnell as the first Doctor. This story was the final story from Doctor Who's second season and well without further ado let's take a look at the DVD cover for this story. So at the centre here we've got Peter Butterworth here who played the meddling monk in this story and he also appeared uh, in the Daleks Master Plan as well so he was the second recurring villain to appear in Doctor Who after the Daleks also we've got William Hartnell and we've got what appears to be a Viking helmet and got this building it's like this sort of farm setting and you got the ship there, you got the TARDIS, and it's on like the edge of a mountain just overlooking the sea. And overall I think it's a pretty nice cover and I like how you've got this effect coming off the time meddler as if he is a time traveller. This is actually the second Time Lord to appear in the show as well, apart from the Doctor. Or I should say third really because Susan counts as well. But you get what I mean. Uh, Susan was a time lady, I guess. Uh, if we have a look at the sleeve, that is what the sleeve looked like. We've just got a few leaves on there. Nothing spectacular, I'll be completely honest with you. And here we've got a few screen grabs, all in black and white. And this story was by Dennis Spooner. The TARDIS lands on the North Cumbrian coast, where new companion Stephen discovers a Viking helmet, and the Doctor deduces they must have arrived in the 11th century. Stephen remains sceptical, especially when he and Vicky encounter what appears to be a Saxon hunter with a modern wrist watch. Investigating a nearby monastery, the Doctor discovers further anarchisms. Who is the mysterious monk observing the time traveller's every move, and why is he so interested in the outcome of the Battle of Hastings? Special features for this include commentary by Verity Lambert, who was the producer at the time, Peter Purvis, who played Ted Stephen, Donald Tosh, who was a story editor, and Barry Newbury, the designer, and this is moderated by Clayton Hickman. We have the Verity Lambert obituary, a concise essay looking back over the career of one of Doctor Who's co-curators. The Lost 12 Seconds, a small part of episode 4 is still missing and this short item uses an off uh, studio recording and the original script to place the missing 12 seconds in context. Restoration, a featurette showing the techniques used in the restoration of this story. We've got Strip for Action, The First Doctor, a look back at The First Doctor's current full comic strip adventures. And we've got a Verity Lambert gallery, Radio Times Billings, photo gallery for the story itself, production subtitles, a coming soon trailer, and a digitally remastered picture and sound quality. The story was originally broadcast on BBC One between the 3rd and 24th of July, 1965, produced by Verity Lambert, directed by Douglas Canfield, contains digitally remastered black and white footage. Liner notes by C. Sue Crowley, and the cover is by Clayton Hickman. And the runtime for this is 100 minutes. It is four episodes long. Here we've actually got a bit of different art on here on the uh, inside sleeve, which is very nice, like the monkeys hiding by the leaves there. And there again, we've just got that uh, same image as what we see on this front cover. So overall, what do I think of this DVD release? I think that this is a good DVD release. I think that the special features are very nice. Uh, got a nice featurette about Verity Lambert, a little bit about the making of this story, and. It shows like everything that was done for this DVD release in terms of the restoration and everything. I think that all of that is great. As for the story itself, this is actually a very good story. This actually might be one of my favourite First Doctor stories. It's got a lot of great things in this. I really like The Monk and I just really like the setting for this story. It's a nice change to have a historical story around this era 
that's not just a pure historical. You got a few science fiction elements in that, and that's where the monk comes in because, as the story implies, he is a time meddler, and it's only up to the first doctor to stop it. I think that the interactions between him and the monk are some of the best scenes throughout. This is also Stephen Taylor's first full story in Doctor Who because he joined the TARDIS team at the end of the chase although uh, the Doctor and Vicky didn't know this until he turned up uh, at the start of this story and I really like his introduction to the TARDIS I think it's great I really like how uh, the first Doctor teases him and you've got one of the most famous lines in there um, when he's just showing the TARDIS when, when he's showing Stephen around the TARDIS and he mentions about the chair with the panda on it it's one of the all time classic lines um, and yeah this is where it's from it's great this is a great story and I highly recommend that you get this DVD for this story guys because Honestly, I'm not exaggerating, this is one of the best First Doctor stories, period. Without a question, one of the best, so I would definitely pick it up, and I think the special features are a great treat as well. So yeah, I think that uh, this DVD is really worth getting if you're into this era. So yeah, that's my review of this DVD release of The Time Meddler, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment... And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.